Welcome to Hoffmann Photography. My name is Rainer and this video is about simplifying your composition and why it is a good idea. Most of the time anyway. Many photographs are full of more or less interesting visual elements that do nothing to convey a message. So an important question before pressing the shutter button is therefore what can I leave out without changing the message? Here are some examples. This is a typical snapshot of the kind you find on social media. It was taken on the terrace when the sun was low in the sky. Some parts of the subject are in bright sunlight and others in deep shadow. This makes the picture look very busy and unbalanced. And then there are all sorts of details, such as the cutlery and the colorful tablecloths, which compete with the subject, the goat's cheese with basil and red pepper. This photo was taken just a few minutes after the first shot. The crop is so tight that the plate can only be recognized as a white background. In addition, the plate was placed in a different position relative to the sun, which resulted in a much more even illumination without the pronounced shadows. The camera was positioned vertically above the subject. This had the advantage that only a relatively shallow depth of field was required. The resulting shutter speed was therefore short enough for a handheld shot under the given lighting conditions. This version is less radically cropped. Both the cheese and the basil leaf are completely in the picture. Above all, however, the plate is recognizable as an independent object thanks to the shadow on the left. Which version you prefer depends on your personal taste, but both versions are, at least in my opinion, much better than the first one. It is not always possible to simplify the composition by cropping it differently. The rigging of an old sailing ship always looks to the outsider like a hopeless jumble of ropes and objects whose purpose is not necessarily obvious. A thick rope running from left to right through the picture is particularly distracting. The problem could not be solved by cropping the picture or changing the perspective. However, elsewhere on the ship's hull I found a very similar but much tidier motive, which allowed for a much more pleasant composition. In many cases, simplifying a composition is a good thing. However, this photo is so simple that it borders on boring. Although the boat has been placed in the picture according to the rule of thirds, this alone is obviously not enough to create an exciting photo worth looking at. Only the unusual view, almost vertically from above, and the intense colors of the water and the boat prevent the shot from becoming a clear case for the virtual trash can. The mere application of compositional rules does not automatically lead to remarkable images. The subject must also have other qualities that arouse the viewer's interest. And then there are subjects. If you ever had the chance to be in a Baroque church, they are visual overkill. All of them. This was the best I could come up with in terms of simplifying the composition. Symmetry always is simpler than asymmetry, so I decided to make the shot as symmetric as possible, even though I generally prefer asymmetry. Perhaps you got an idea or two of how to simplify your compositions. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.